Imagine this. It's the year 2050. A cyclist is climbing Alpe de Huez, but he's not out of breath. He's not sweating buckets. He's pedaling with robotic precision, as if his body knows something we don't. The commentators say it's the fastest ascent ever. Records shattered. Again, what if this isn't just better training, better bikes, or smarter diets? What if this is the age of futuristic doping, stealthy, untraceable, maybe even legal? Think of your DNA like a massive instruction manual for your body. Now imagine you could edit it. With a tool called CRISPR, scientists can now snip out or replace certain genes. It's already being tested to fight diseases, but what if it's used to fight fatigue? Let's say you're a cyclist who wants more endurance. Instead of training for years to increase red blood cell count, what if your body could just do it automatically? Your muscles could be made to recover faster. Your lungs could become more efficient. Your pain tolerance could go through the roof, all without any drugs, just edited cells. And here's the kicker. There's no way to detect it unless someone has your full genetic blueprint. Now imagine a child born today is edited before birth, designed to have the perfect body for endurance. By the time they're 25, they're a super athlete and no one can prove they've been doped. Is that athlete cheating or just born different? This is the ethical minefield that genetic doping brings. And it's not just theory. Scientists are already experimenting with gene editing in animals for athletic performance. The step to humans may already be here.